What's happening everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to get custom muzzle flashes inside AGLS. As you can see here by depending on which weapon I acquire, you can see that I have different muzzle flashes. I'm changing my uh, project into more of a sci-fi. That's what my project is. And this will allow you to have custom muzzle flashes. So let's go ahead and we're going to get into it. For this tutorial, I will be using these effects, M5 VFX RPG2. I got these for free on the marketplace. I believe they cost about $44 for this set. It's a really nice set, as you can see here. It has 25 stylized projectiles, 55 impact and muzzle effects, and 80 Niagara systems. So I'm going to go ahead and that's what we're going to be using. Let's go ahead and get into the project here. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to search for our ALS base character, BP. Now, the first thing we need to accomplish is actually adding a flash to the pistol as well. Otherwise, this will not work. So let's go ahead and add that pistol flash first. So what we're going to want to do is go here and you want to duplicate this two times. So we're going to duplicate it once and then we're going to duplicate it again. And we are going to change these overlay states to reflect pistols. All right. So we need to go ahead and select the pistol one hand and the pistol two hand. And we're just going to go ahead and bring these together. And then we're going to add an or Boolean. And we are just going to put these into the or. So either or. Next, we're going to go ahead and put this off of a branch. All right, and then we're going to put this into the false slot. So now if this rifle overlay state proves false, it'll go ahead and check for a pistol overlay state. I'm going to bring this down here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy all of this. We don't want to copy this because this is actually for a sniper rifle so that's for sniper unless you got a sniper pistol and you want to go ahead and copy that you can but we're going to go ahead and just copy and we're going to paste that down here and then we're going to go ahead and hook up to this sequence out of the true branch so this is true we're going to do that and then we have this return node we're just going to go ahead and slap that into this and we could delete or remove this execution pin because we don't need it Next, we want to go and find the pistol actor. So it'll be right here, pistol actor. And what we want to do is we want to replace all these rifle actors with these pistol actors. So let's go ahead and we're going to replace this one, this one, this one. And so now we should have all of these together. Let's compile and save that and just double check and make sure that you got pistol actors everywhere where it, where it said rifle. And so now that's all together. We can go ahead and test this. So let's go ahead and go in and make sure that this is working. All right, we'll just draw our pistol. And there we go. So we got that taken care of. Let's go ahead and get to the next part of this video. Stay inside that base character. We wanna to go to the event graph. And in the event graph, we're gonna need a little room. So move over and we're gonna make two custom events. Custom event one, and I'm gonna call this one rifle effects type okay and then we're going to make another custom event called pistol effects type all right so we got rifle and pistol effects type now before we go further let's go back to that s spawn blueprint that we just edited and inside of this blueprint what we're going to want to do is we want to go up here and we want to promote this to a variable and we are going to call this rifle muzzle effects come off of this one and we're going to promote this one to a variable and we're going to call this one pistol muzzle effects compile save now we're going to go back into our event graph and off of this let's go here and search for rifle and we want to drag off rifle model index so we want to get that and then we're going to do the same thing for the pistol go in type in pistol and get the pistol model index we're going to bring that in and off of these we're going to get every rifle and pistol model. So as you can see here, if you click down, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven models here. So we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna come off of this. We're gonna type equal and we wanna type equal enum. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and copy this five more times. We're gonna duplicate both of these. One for every single weapon type that we have.
And then we're just going to change these accordingly. So this would be the AK-47 and so forth. We're just going to go down the whole list here. So we need to make two more. All right, so now we have all of these together. We can do the same thing for the pistol. Let's move this over a little bit. And we're going to drag off the pistol, which has less versions. So let's see. And for the pistol, there are only three more models. So we will duplicate this three times. And then change these accordingly to what name each pistol has. So we'll change this one to PO18. We'll change this one to the S and W. We'll change this one to the Desert E. So now off of these, we want to create branches. So the first branch we're going to create here is off of this one. We're say branch, plug that in to our rifle effects type. And off of this branch, we're going to want to find that pistol muzzle effects and rifle muzzle effects. So let's just put muzzle and you'll see them here. So we'll drag one off for the rifle and we want to put set. And we're going to do the same thing with pistol. We're going to drag one off since we know we're going to need it. Press set. We'll just leave it over here. Off of this, we're going to go ahead and bring up the true node. And off of this, we can set our muzzle effects. So let's go ahead and add our effects. Uh, you want to try to make this be Niagara. For this video, we're going to use Cascade because that's just what's set. But in my actual project, I use Niagara. And you can convert your Cascades to Niagara if you want to here. But we're just going to go down and I'm going to type in MF. And that'll bring up all the muzzle flashes. And I'm just going to just pick whatever. I'm just going to pick them in order here. So that'll be for the uh, M4A1. And then we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to keep on. We're going to duplicate this. And we can just keep duplicating this for each one of these weapons. So I'll go ahead and select the next muzzle flash for this one. All right, and so on. And so I'm going to go ahead and do all of these. Okay, then out of these, we just want to hook each one to the false. So we come out of the false and just go down into the next branch. But basically, it's just going to go through and do a check of which weapon you are actually holding. All right. What rifle model that you are holding. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the pistol right quick. So let's go ahead and move this over here. We're going to come off a branch. All right. And then we'll put the branch, hook it up to our pistol type. And we'll do these effects in a second. I'm going to do all the rifle ones first. Now that we have that done, we can just go ahead and go down the list. That's what I'm going to do here. And I'm just going to type in MF and I'm just going to go down this list and we're going to add all of these different muzzle flashes here. Okay. So now we have all of those together. I'm going to go ahead and put a box around them here and I'm going to just put select muzzle flash by weapon model okay so the next thing that we're going to want to do is we want to go ahead and we're going to create a couple of timers here come to this event begin play and we are going to create two timers and we want to do set timer by function name and we're just going to duplicate this one bring it over here all right and we want to go ahead and connect these up now we're going to go ahead and go over to our names here. We got rifle effects type. We're going to copy that name and we're going to go ahead and put paste that into the first set this timer for 0.1 second. We'll loop it. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the pistol. We're just going to get our pistol effects type, paste that in, set this at 0.1. We're going to set this on looping, compile save now i'm just going to look over my blueprint really fast and make sure i got everything set up right i gotta go ahead and do my pistol models again here I had to redo all this off screen something happened all right so we got everything together now let's go ahead compile save now let's go ahead and press play and see how this works out here we are and there's a muzzle flash there let's check the pistol 
looking good. Not the way I would use it, obviously. They need to be edited, but it's definitely a different muzzle flash for each weapon. So that's pretty much it. I hope this helps you guys out like it helped me out. I hope that everyone uh, gets some use out of it. But you'll see here that pretty much every single weapon now has its own muzzle flashes. So there you have it. Anyway, that's the end of this series three tutorial for AGLS. I'll be back with part four. Don't know what we're going to be covering yet, but I will be back with it. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notifications and share the content. I'll be back with another one soon. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games.